<laughs> Alright, you guys. You... I can't believe how many of you guys wanted me to play Doki Doki. <laughs> what do you mean? And welcome. My name is Shisha Anime and welcome back. We are going to start playing Doki Doki Literature Club. I put a poll out on Twitter and this literally got the majority vote. No competition at all whatsoever. Everybody voted for Doki Doki. And the, the bit I was more amazed that there was actually a warning at the beginning of this game for playing it. Say, like, if you're sensitive to certain things, don't play this. So if you have to get triggered easily or anything like that, sorry about being a pussy and come off this because I don't think you'll like it. <laughs> anyway, we're going to move on then with Doki Cod Doki Doki Literature Club. So guys, let me just sort the volume out quickly. Yeah, that should be alright. Ikumashoka! Oh. My name? Yusha. There we go. Mini Yusha's going in. Ikumashoka. Hey! I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance. Oh, right, this is that. Uh, hello. Okay, this is Quink. Okay. Waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbour and good friend since we were children. Oh, hello Sayori. You know the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making... Ugh, excuse me. Ooh. I've just eaten breakfast and I've got to go to uni in a little bit. <laughs> and also block nose, so you might have to forgive me if I'm a bit... Ugh. <laughs> Finally coming out of illness. You know the kind of friend you would never see yourself making today? But it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Ah. We used to walk together to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of what you've done. Wow, okay. But she's going to chase after me like this, so I must feel better off running away. <laughs> However, I'd just sign idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <laughs> oh, she's so adorable. I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe, but it, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Yeah, you say it like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Yusha. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Wow. Fine, fine. Mate, you didn't wait for me after all. I guess you don't have, you don't have it in you to be mean if you want to. Whatever you say, sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm I'm starting to feel like there's something about this game because you guys wanted me to play it so badly that I feel like there's something amiss here. Like, but there's going to be something messed up with this game. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Yusha. Oh. Have you decided to join? Have you decided on a club to join yet? Club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Oh, that was me. Oh, was that me? Bollocks, alright. Yeah, it's me. I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. There we go. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of, my, one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along whatever she's going on about. Ah, that's probably why. <coughs> Sorry likes to worry a little too much about me. But I'm perfectly con content just getting on, just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Yes! Uh-huh. I was talking... I was talking about how worried that... I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Wait, wait, do I do I get skills in this game? Wait, what? Excuse me? Your happiness is really important to me, you know. I don't know you're happy now, but I but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. God damn, Jesus. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about, about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises though. Maybe at least promise me you'll try a little. Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Aww. 
Why do I let myself get lectured by a carefree girl? Ye well, <laughs> you're the one who done it, dude, not me. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Uh, still quite a nice girl, in all fairness. She's like, looking after you. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sorry, wants me to check out some clubs. Or well, Sayori. <coughs> Guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. God damn it. Hello! Uh oh. And of course, she's here to check up on me. Sayori? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realise I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Wow. Ouch. You didn't need to wait up for me. It's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Oh, she's blushing at everything. Oh, you know what? Well, I thought you could come to my club. Sayori? Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, uh, meanie. <laughs> this is so adorable. Something terrible's gonna happen, I know it. Sayori is the vice president of the literature club. What is wrong with literature? I like I like books. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. Makes sense. That said, uh, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Uh-oh. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I'd bring in a new member. Fuck. <laughs> and that's key made cupcakes and everything. Hehe. <laughs> Don't be promises you can't keep. I can't tell Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned this all out. Yeah, it's both. I let out a long sigh. And I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yay, let's go! Uh oh. Am I going to be tortured horribly? And thus, today marks the day I sold myself for a cupcake. <laughs> Well, shit, here we go. Cupcake time, baby. Uh, need to take off my jumper. It keeps pinging on my chair. I bloody hate it when it does that. Uh, block nose is awful, I tell you. I dejected, fo I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit. Being generally used used for a third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings over the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. Hold you, don't call me any member. Guys around the room. Girl number one. Way to go. <laughs> we don't have it. Just girl number one. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Do you know it's even me? They probably do, actually. <laughs> Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Hey, sexist. Hi, you sure what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Wait, she knows me? All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls! <laughs> what are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. <laughs> Sorry. Natsuki? Oh. Okay, we found a sleep buddy. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's probably the third year. She's probably the oldest out of everyone. No anime. She also is the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Wow, Sayori, Sayori says that quietly into my ear. Then back toward the other girls. Ah. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Oh, she blush. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Uh, well, it's nice to be—it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? 
That's right. It's great to see you again, Yusha. Monica smiled sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. I... My friends, when I was with them yesterday, they all played this meme. Like, um... A little bit of Monica. Where it's just like, they replaced all the all the other names in uh, Bombo number 5 to just, um, Monica. I just found it hilarious. <laughs> but, I don't know why. I haven't seen the video. All I did was hear it, and I was like, what is this a reference to? And they said, Doki Doki. I literally went, no spoilers! <coughs> Moving on. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. Uh-oh. Is this why they were saying Monica? So having a smile at me genuinely feels a little... Y you too, Monica. Come sit down, Yusha. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me. So you can sit next to me on Monica. I get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll go get them. Sorry, got a little too excited. Then, how about I make some tea as well? Mm, that sounds nice. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As uh, Sayori so mentioned, it's been widened. It's been widened to say there is one space next to Monica, one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walked over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Okay, Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay. Are you ready? Well, oh, she's very heavy. Cha cha! Oh! Natsuki lifts the. Oh, I. <laughs> there we go. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Oh, little deco freaking cupcakes, yes! The whiskers are drawn with icing. And little pieces of chocolate we use to make is. Oh, that's adorable. I had no idea you were good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Oh, she. Okay. Alright. I'm already sold on Natsuki. She's got Yaiba. I'm already sold. <laughs> just just hurry and take one. So, who grabs the f one first? And Monica, I follow. It's delicious. So, who takes talks with a mouthful that has already managed to get icing on her face? I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glance in my direction. She baked them for me. She wants to make sure that they're good. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. Ah, the ice is sweet and full of flavour. I wonder if she made it herself. She did. It's really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Oh, why are you thanking me? It's not okay. Like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Yeah, uh, Sundare. Sundare. Made them for you or anything? Huh? I thought you technically did. Say it, he said. Well, maybe. But not for you, you know. Baka. Hi, <laughs> hey. Alright, alright. I give I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. He only returns to the table carrying a tea set. Why have I all of a sudden got a harm? Why? <laughs> she carefully placed a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole you keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh I guess. <coughs> <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's trying just trying to impress you. <laughs> That's not Insulted Yuri it looks away. Wow. I meant that you know I believe you. Well, team reading might not be a pa might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet. Sadie seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Oh my god, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. 
Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? Oh, did, I don't know about that one. That could be a good. That would be a good debate. Uh, well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Okay. Feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. Well, damn. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it, encar if it encourages others to get into the literature club, then I'm fulfilling that dream. <clears throat> uh, my fruit. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. You know, I'm surprised there are more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. I need to honestly ply my nose because it's just this. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll be back in a second. I need to cl clear my bloody nose. Otherwise, it's just going to be sniffling the whole time. Oh, yeah. Full potential we go! You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can already grow in this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. So this is my lineup. <laughs> Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why we're also delight we're also delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with that level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Yusha, what kind of things do you read? Do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that manga. I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head not suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Okay. Not much of a reader, I guess. Oh, uh, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke about thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. She's like the near son of this place, just very shy near son. My favourites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship between them is amazing to me. I do like those types of books. Uh, myself, I do read some. I do read some books, but some of those that manage to do it well are just amazing. And telling a good story in such a fine world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. It's obvious, by the way, her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in a world of books, not people. Damn it, she likes books over me! <laughs> but, but you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Yes, those are awesome. Yes. Isn't that amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you off for a loop? Yep. Could visual novels count as reading? Because they're technically books, but more visuals to it. But you have so much text to go for, it's like you might as well be reading it. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. I read, a I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you can say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Oh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Yasuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. 
That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Uh-oh. What? What gives you that idea? You like to be subscribed paper behind last club meeting? It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud! And get it back! Fine, fine. Hee hee hee. Your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is as cute as you are. Uh oh. Slowly slides up behind that skier and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Oh, yeah, she's not skier, you write your own poems? Oh, uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No, no. Natsuki's eyes have... Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't... You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up your, to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Very true. I've written poems. I've done a poem contest once and I came second place. I won a tenner. <laughs> but to me, back then, that was like a fortune. Jesus. Man, how times have changed. I think I was, I was like in year eight. So, hold on a minute. Nostalgia usually here. How long ago was that? College of About seven years ago, no, not even seven. Eight years ago that was. Eight years, bloody hell. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Nusky feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh-oh. Let me guess, does she, does she do BL? I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. Hmm. You'll sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. Nat and Yuri. Natsuki and Yuri looked quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um. Mm. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us. Oh, bollocks. It would help us all get a little bit more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Yusha? Monica smiled warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still one problem. Uh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I've only come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sorry, he may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and... Uh, and... Shit. <laughs> I lose my I lose my train of thought. A full girl stared back at me with dejected eyes. But but I'm sorry I thought Oh you sure. I defense is against these girls. No! How am I supposed to make a clear headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided it. I joined a Lynch Club. Well, that was <laughs> a quick turnaround in just 30 seconds. <laughs> one by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. So he wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. <laughs> hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. Well, I almost did. <laughs> then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thanks, I guess? Okay, everyone. I think... I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over me once more. You sure look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. It really hurts to sneeze. God. Ooh. Yeah. I really impressed the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Yusha, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. So, Yuri and I never walked home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! 
that two of us depart the club depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. <laughs> and of course Monica. <laughs> Gotta be these are all very nicely drawn. It's it's very pleasant so far this. Lovely be spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have to ch I'll have the chance to grow close to one of these girls. Yes, of course, because main protagonist choices. Alright. I just need to make the most of my circumstances. I'm sure good fortune will find me. Oh god, that sounds like it'd be very bad. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Yeah, pretty much. Let's go. Oh? It's time to write a poem. Pick what you think your favourite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Oh! Let's start with raindrops. Raindrops waterfalls. Daydream. Daydream sparkle. Dazzle vitality. Time. <laughs> Bloody. Okay, I guess it tells you he likes it the most. <laughs> this is so cute, little Jimmy's. I love him. I love him. Valuable. Yuri's jumping up and down, I wonder why. Memories. Extraordinary. Intellectual. Childhood. Ducky Ducky. <laughs> Vibrant. Beauty. Question. Uncanny. Anxiety. Wait, what? <laughs> Jumpy. Fucking hell! Wow, that's dark suicide! Got that warm. Okay, I wonder what I did. I don't know what I did! <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna do this little part then, and then it's gonna be the end of this part because I can't record long. Sadly. Hi, Ganusha. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I'll at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the Lich Department. Uh. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Yusha. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on! Like you deserves any slack. Sayuri told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take it seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki? We certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in a club room. Uh... <laughs> wow. Shit. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between, say, Monica and manga. Manga's literature! Well, it is a book. It's just more visual. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plopped back to her seat. Don't worry, guys. You shall always get this best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without even me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How oh, dependable. So, Eddie, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. You almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and you should come become good friends too. Um. Sayori? Hmm? She suddenly seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, you even brought yourself in today, you know? Oh, wait, Sayori! Huh? Me? Oh, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Oh, it's adorable! Sayori made it sound like it was a big deal when it's really not. Oh, what do I do? He? I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. Oh, the Yuri. Because that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So, any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It made me happy no matter what. Aww. Is that so? Yeah. I won't make a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri yeah, reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. 
It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is... This girl accidentally being so cute. She even picked out a book she thinks I like, despite me not reading much. Really, thank you. I'll definitely read this. Enthusiastically take the book. <sighs> well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now, everyone settled in. I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Zayani and Monica have have now cherry cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I never noticed her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Yeah, she's getting rid of her manga. Man. Looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slunk down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could already read some of the book Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. <coughs> I'd probably fall asleep right now. Close my eyes and then listen in on, in on Sayuri's conversation with Monica. We're probably going to see Rudy Link and play a draw the other club cell. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that all... But it's not like that at all, you... But it's not like that at all, you know. We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Oh, that doesn't solve the problem, though. Uh, what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature thing. <coughs> so it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And then they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? So I just this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Hmm, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? Oh, what kind? Uh, well, I guess we could. Cupcakes! Ah, uh, good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Are oh, you right? Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested... That wasn't why you suggested it. That was why he suggested cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. <laughs> cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sally is still her usual self. And therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all. So I had to put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. <laughs> I open my eyes to find Sari's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. Hey, Sari. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. What? You should have gone for sleeping like that. This isn't a napping club. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're going to have less time for anime, you know. You need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I can't say it loud. <coughs> I really can't. <laughs> I glanced over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. Hee hee hee. It's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Uh, not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gone up on time? That's... a secret. I knew it. Come on. <laughs> Let's give me the benefit of the doubt. Nope. I can't eat. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Yeah? Sayori glanced around at herself. Why is it written all over me? You're clearly in a rush this morning. Look, yeah, sticking out all around here. Huh? I'm on my fingertips down the side of Sayuri's head, trying to straighten it out for. Man, you need to brush. You need really need to brush for this. My hair's just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. It's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't even straight either. 
There's toothpaste stain your collar right there. Try to wipe off the stain on my finger. But uh, nobody would ever notice it. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't care about that. <laughs> you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend? Oh, wow. Hey, that's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you change your mind. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's still pretty cute, though. Alright, that's gotta be the picture. This is so. This is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking about how it is a friend who does these kinds of things. Huh? Don't say that. You make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we are like this. Aren't you? Uh, I guess. Hey, be careful. Mum might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? Stop to force to close the button near it. Yeah, they're too big. <laughs> Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. <sighs> if you ever buttoned it, you would have known sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boots got bigger again. Don't say that out loud! <laughs> anyway, you look much better now, so... Why does it feel strange to see Sayori's brazer button up like that? But it's so stuffy. It's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. So I hastily unbutts her blazer once more. Well, so much for that. Yeah, I'm gonna end it here because I actually have to leave. I have to finish this part here. That is actually not a bad introduction to I can't see where it's gonna go absolutely wrong. I mean, it just seems pleasant at the second. I know you guys voted it for a reason, and I'm guessing something horrible happens, but <laughs> I'll give you guys the benefit of the doubt for now. So, all I can say is thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you want any more from me, and let's just see you in the next video. So much, yeah, guys. I'll most certainly see you next time. Damn sight. This is so far not that bad. I kind of like it. Quite nice. <laughs>